Good evening, Robert Scribbler. It is August 14th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I'm going to talk about the stupendous, ridiculous, obnoxious cost of, of human-caused climate change. And, and in particular, this is actually the knock-on, stupendous, obnoxious, ridiculous cost of continuing to burn fossil fuels. But before I do that, I'd, I'd like to just emphasize that it's not just about the money. It, it's the, the, the reason why climate change costs a stupendous amount of money is because climate change is a mass, global, worldwide damage to human systems multiplier. And that that damage not only inflicts loss of income, loss of livelihood, mass displacement, loss of in infrastructure, but, but in the worst cases, and, and, and the worst cases grow as you warm the earth, they also produce higher and higher risk of loss of life and, and, and direct injury. So, so as, as I talk about damage and, and dollars and, and monetary impacts from human-caused climate change, I also want to keep you to keep in the back of your head that, that this monetary cost also comes, also implies a, a severe human cost. So, so climate change impacts and, and damages due to human-caused climate change have been on the increase. Last year in the United States alone, extreme weather-related events, according to this article in The Week, resulted in over $300 billion in damages. And, and that's, that represents about 1.5% of US GDP. And I'm gonna recommend that you read this article by Ryan Cooper entitled, Unchecked Climate Change is Going to Be Stupendously expensive. He, he takes a deep dive into some of the, the costs related to human-caused climate change. I just wanted to highlight this because it's a, it's a good article, but, but I'm, I'm also going to look at a scientific study about one aspect of, of, of uh, one damage driver related to human-caused climate change, and, and it's just one of many and that's sea level rise. Now, sea level rise has been on the increase ever since human fossil fuel burning began. And this sea level rise during recent years has been accelerating as the earth warms, as the oceans thermally expand, and as glacier melt particularly starts to accelerate. Since 1993, the average rate of sea level rise has been 3.3 millimeters per year, and that's about double what mid 20th century rates of sea level rise were. And as we advance the monitor to the recent decade, we find that the rate of sea level rise has increased during recent years to above four millimeters per year. Unfortunately, as the earth warms and as fossil fuel burning continues, this rate of sea level rise will continue to accelerate. How much it accelerates is still relatively, uh, well, we don't know completely to a, to a specific point how rapidly sea level rise will accel accelerate, but, but the range of potential sea level rise runs from damaging to to ridiculously damaging. So keeping this in mind, I'd like to call your attention to a recent UN, uh, I'm sorry, nature study, which, which was highlighted in this, this re recent UN climate change announcement about sea level rise related damages to Europe by, by the year 2100. 
It's worth noting that Europe is, is just one of many places that is vulnerable to sea level rise. And if you're looking at regions that are vulnerable to sea level rise, it's anywhere with a coast. Hundreds of millions of people live within 10 feet of sea level, about 600 mil million people globally. And, and that is a, uh, you know, just a little less than 10% than of the global population. So, so a massive number of people are on the front lines of climate change when it comes to sea level rise. This nature paper notes that present damages to Europe due to sea level rise, yearly damages, are in the range of, of about 1.25 billion per year. And this is due to instances of increased tidal flooding, increased nuisance flooding, increased damage to infrastructure due to rising sea levels, and in a rising platform for events such as storm-driven surges of water. But as sea level rise is expected to increase over the coming century, particularly if fossil fuel burning continues, which would, would represent the higher end of sea level rise, this damage is expected to multiply many times over. And according to this study, I'm just going to read this sentence. The present expected annual damage of 1.25 billion euros is projected to increase by two to three orders of magnitude by the end of the century, ranging between 93 and 961 billion euros. So you're talking about, on the upper end, nearly a trillion euros in annual damages from high sea level, rising sea level, due to fossil fuel burning. That's trillion with a capital T. So, so when we talk about climate change, what we're talking about is, is shortening the, the expectancy of, of quality of life for pretty much everyone living on planet Earth. And, and that's ultimately what it boils down to when you're talking about the cost of fossil fuel burning. Oftentimes, people will talk about, well, how expensive is it to transition to, to clean energy? In all honesty, transitioning to clean, clean energy is cheap. Clean, transitioning to clean energy avoids terrible healthcare costs from pollution, provides people with reduced cost to energy over time, and the sunk invested cost is recuperated many times over in increased quality of life. And on the other end of the spectrum, if you don't transition to clean energy, halt fossil fuel burning, and do the other stuff to reduce carbon emissions, you're looking at terrible cost. Terrible, un unprecedented, excessive cost, the likes of which we've never experienced before. So something to think about as we look at the present impacts of human-caused climate change as the Earth has warmed by approximately 1 to 1.2 degrees Celsius above 1850 to 1900 averages, and look at the potential for 2 to 4 to 5 degrees Celsius warming this century in the higher ranges if we keep burning fossil fuels. So, something to think about. Thank you for joining me, and I'll be chatting with you soon.